Hey guys, it's me, your pal Gabriel, and I want to address something. I don't normally address people's comments and videos, but if you go back on my last video, there's a lengthy comment by a guy who says he's been watching my videos for a year, and he says that if I, you know, focus more on the beer or had a regular place to drink the beers, I'd be more popular and blah, 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 and he said dumb shit about me being homeless. And he just got a fucking asshole, so I banned him, and then he got another account and said roughly the same shit, but in a more relaxed way. Point is, the reason I don't have a place I drink beers, and the reason I don't sometimes put a whole shitload of effort into the editing, is because it's fun for me this way. All I have to do is pop on, talk a bit, drink a beer, talk to you guys in the comments, which I love, and you know, this way it's good. And maybe I would have a billion more subs, but it's I'd be doing it in a way that isn't me. And for me, you know, the fake reactions, the fake puking, all the other shit that people do on YouTube has never really been my thing. And it will never be my thing. So if you're looking for that, go to a different channel, you know, like, and, and find it there. I put the effort I put into it, into it, and I enjoy it the way I do. You know, I'm not above criticism. It wasn't about the guy criticizing me. It was just about the way he went about it. The way he went about criticizing me was just kind of show them cameraman, the small, small train. But point is, you can level uh, constructive criticism or non-constructive criticism at somebody, and you don't have to be a fucking asshole. I mean, you're entitled to say whatever the hell you want on my channel, but if you say dumb shit about me having been homeless, you can go somewhere else. Anyways, uh, today I have for you an Olympia beer. Uh, I'm really not sure on the date. The Conan is older, so I guess 70s. Old. Here we go. Nope, just says the company it was made in 1933. Olympia is, in my experience, pretty okay beer. It's kind of a dirty beer. It's gross. All right, let's just pop it open. I'd say 70s, so uh, a lot of these I guesstimate, by the way. There's, you know, some people in the comments sometimes say, well, it was released in this date. And that's, I just guess. It's very hard to date some of this shit. Uh, so I'd say like 75, to be fair. 25 years plus what, 19? So one. So it's 44-year-old beer. Uh, I'm at some little park with lots of animals and stuff, so hopefully a normie doesn't interrupt the video. Woo! That's crazy. It's not too bad. A little bit of air damage. Good taste on a little tinny. And also the reason in the last video that the, he kept going on about how it was an afterthought, the soda, let me know in the comments down below if you're super excited about me drinking the 70,000th old fucking Coke I drank. Like, this this is kind of interesting, but I've even drank a bunch of these. The the Cokes are not fucking interesting. I just drank that to give you a show on top of talking. That wasn't really about the Coke. I missed the point of the video. A little, oh, a little chunky there. It smells like maple. He also said I could work on the audio, and I could. But that would take getting a little lapel mic, or I think they call them lavier systems, or however the fuck you say it. And I don't want to do that. They're like a hundred plus bucks on this channel. I've sunk thousands into these beers and the trips and the other different shit like the cameras I've had over the years, and I've made 200 bucks. This isn't for profit. I do this for fun and to talk to you. Oh, there's a little in there, I guess, but it's another one for the record books. Anyways, please like, comment. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to come back at you with uh, another beer in the near future or another soda. Thanks for watching.